proves that the square root of 2 is irrational. Here is a snippet of the proofs that you are about to see. There are 10 proofs presented here, ordered by the difficulty from easiest to hardest from my point of view. If you want to have a sneaky and my more interesting proofs, feel free to skip to the last quarter of the video. But now, let's begin. Proof 1. Suppose, for the sake of contradiction, that the square root of 2 is rational and is equal to p over q. Assume that p over q is in its lowest terms, so in particular p and q are not both even. As the square of 2 is equal to p over q, p squared equals to 2q squared. Since 2q squared is even, p squared must also be even, so p is even. Let p be equal to 2r. As a result, 4r squared equals 2q squared, which means q squared equals 2r squared. This implies that q is even. But this contradicts the fact that p and q are not both even. Hence, we have a contradiction. Proof 2. Again, suppose for the sake of contradiction that the square root of 2 is rational and is equal to p over q. Then, consider the factorizations of p squared and 2q squared, which is in fact the same number and should hence should be the same. Note that a square has an even number of 2s in its factorization. Hence, in their factorizations, the former has an odd number of 2s, while the latter has an even number of 2s. Since an odd number is not equal to an even number, and p squared is equal to 2q squared, p squared has two different factorizations, contradicting the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Proof 3. Suppose, for the sake of contradiction, that the square root of 2 is rational and is equal to p over q. Assume that the GCD of p and q is 1. Then, as p and q do not share any common prime factors, the GCD of p squared and q squared is also 1. However, p squared over q squared is 2. This means that q squared equals 1, so the square root of 2 is an integer. This is obviously not true. Proof 4. Again, suppose for the sake of contradiction that the square root of 2 is rational and is equal to p over q. Assume that q is the smallest natural number such that the square root of 2 times q is also a natural number. Following the work of proof 1, we see that p is even. However, q divided by p over 2 is the square root of 2. Also, p is even, so p over 2 is a smaller natural number such that the square root of 2 times p over 2 is also a natural number. This contradicts the definition of q. Proof 5. Suppose for the sake of contradiction that the square root of 2 is rational and is equal to p over q. Assume that q is the smallest natural number such that the square root of 2 times q is also a natural number. But the square root of 2 is equal to 2 minus square root of 2 over square root of 2 minus 1. So that as a rounding, we have 2q minus p over p minus q equal to the square root of 2. Since the square root of 2 is less than 2, we have p minus q a smaller integer such that the square root of 2 times p minus q is also a natural number. This contradicts the definition of q. Proof 6. We shall use congresses to obtain the contradiction. Suppose for the sake of contradiction, that the square root of 2 is rational and is equal to p over q. Assume that p over q is in its lowest terms, so in particular p and q are not both even. By algebraic manipulations, we have p squared equal to 2q squared. By reducing modulo 4, we have the following table. It can be easily seen that in none of these cases is congress achieved legitimately. Hence, we have a contradiction. Proof 7. We use continued fractions to prove that the square of 2 is irrational. Know that a finite continued fraction is of this form, while infinite ones are of this form. It is well known that a number z is rational if and only if the continued fraction representation z possesses, with the ai's being net rational numbers is finite. Now, noting that the square of 2 plus 1 times the square of 2 minus 1 is 1, with the square of 2 equal to this. By repeating the steps in a similar manner, we find an infinite chain of 2s. As a result, the continued fraction that the square of 2 possesses with the AIs being natural numbers is infinite. Hence, the square of 2 is irrational. Proof 8. As the square of 2 is a root of the equation x squared minus 2 equals 0, if it were rational, then by the rational root theorem, 
Its numerator must be a positive or negative factor of negative 2 and its denominator a factor of 1. This means that the square of 2 equals 1 or 2 or negative 1 or negative 2. However, this yields 2 equals 1 or 4, which is obviously a contradiction. Proof 9. Suppose that the square of 2 is rational and is equal to p over q. As a result, the magnitude of square of 2 times i minus s is at least 1 over q, except in the case that pi equals sq, in which case the expression evaluates to 0. By the binomial theorem, the square of 2 times 1 to the power of n is this, which evaluates to an expression of this form. Obviously, it is non-zero, therefore n sufficiently large, it is less than 1 over q, contradicting this. Proof 10. Finally, suppose for the sake of contradiction that the square of 2 is rational and is equal to p over q. Then, we have the basic equation. By Dirichlet's theorems on prime in arithmetic progression, there exists as prime p of the form 8n plus v larger than q. As q is between 0 and p, the inverse of q modulo p exists, designated by the symbol q bar. The original equation hence becomes the square of p times q bar is 2 modulo p. However, it can be easily shown that 2 is a quadratic non-residual modulo p. So the above congruence, hence the original equality, has no solutions. In other words, the square of 2 is irrational. Besides the 11 proofs given here, I have made a grand total of 21 proofs, some of which are rather similar. The topics include the Pythagorean theorem, geometric figures, and congruent numbers. Cut the knot is another source of great proofs. Although there is an inevitable overlapping between the sources, the later proofs included here are chosen to be special and most does not appear in that website. It has 39 proofs altogether. The interested viewer may check it out. As a final reminder, please hit the subscribe button and contribute to the channel. Thank you for watching.